Yeah, what's up, man? Illuminate, Richmond, California. Hold up. Renegade, misfit, off a bit, unorthodox. Call it what you want to call it. We won't fit the size of box. We ain't worried what they thinking. We just came to worship pops. Let the beat drop and praise Christ while them speakers not. Well, I was living, you know, a life of sin and debauchery and murder, madness and mayhem. There's all of these things that happen to us that the devil wants to implant these. Like God wants the seeds of grace, the devil wants these seeds of hating us. August 19, 2009. You know, I remember waking up that morning, bro. And, uh, you know, I got tattoos all on my neck and my chest and my stomach. And I remember I had my shirt off and, you know, I washed my face and I looked in the mirror and I didn't even recognize myself. I'm like, man, who am I and what have I become? Like, I didn't even know who I was anymore. Like, everything that I was doing in life I would have never in a million years imagined that my life had gotten like that. I literally felt like my life was in a downward spiral, like it was in a bad movie and I couldn't stop it. So I remember I went and checked my MySpace and um, there was a message on there from, uh, she's now my homegirl, her name is Tamara, she's from SAC. So she had put this YouTube video on her page, so I'm not knowing who it is. I clicked play on this YouTube video, bro, and this is a skit about the Lord. And, um, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm watching it. So I'm like, kind of like this at first. And then, you know, halfway through, I'm kind of like this, looking at it. And then by the end of it, like, dude, I'm way up like this, tears streaming down my face. I'm broken and I'm bawling. And I'm feeling the love of God literally melting my hard heart, bro. The name of this kid's called Everything by Lifehouse and Ministry. And like everything that this girl went through in this skit, I felt like portrayed a part of my life. I felt like every one of those influences or the demonic presences, I felt like I could relate that to my life in some way, somehow. But the most powerful part to me was at the end, and they're all around her, and then Christ came in and just bow, like knocked them all off and rescued her. Like right then and there, that was like the, the moment for me which broke within me like a, like a, a, a dam broke or something got pulled into just like all of this pain that I had inside was just coming out when I was crying. And I remember like raising my hands like, God, I can't do this no more without you. So it was at that very moment that I rededicated my life to Christ. And like, I knew at that moment that I was never going to turn back. I knew that saying yes to Jesus was a lifelong thing. What's good with it, man? It's your brother Illuminate, man. We out here, man, Florida. You see where we at. You see the beautifulness behind me. Not the beautifulness. That was so good. The beauty behind me. You see it all back here right now, man. This is a, a great landscape, man. I've been rocking with some great people. DeMarco Films, man. I rock with y'all tough. I'm looking forward to doing a video with y'all in November, man. I know it's going to be beautiful, man. Y'all some beautiful people. You guys have come out here. You guys have served. You guys have done everything in excellence. I rock with y'all, man. From Cali to Florida, wherever you at, you need me, you call me, I'll be there. Love y'all, man. God bless.